Well, so here's our destination. I guess it will brave this crossbowman even if it even if we get gunned down doing it. Well, there's another fortress. My main concern is getting caught up with a crossbowman who actually has a posse. Whenever we won't. Let's stealth. Our target is somewhere to the south. We know his camp is in the woods. I am Oprah's gripped mind, prepared to die. Even though he doesn't see us. We can still overhear him talking. There he is. Out in the clearing. He was admiring the flowers. And we sneak along. Yep, he's got a buddy back here. There's another Dusk Elf. And some loot. Just one buddy looks like an axe dwarf or a mace dwarf or a, a hammer. Hammer Elf. Prepare to die, he yells at us. Okay, let's make our move. We'll get to this tree over here and come out from around it. We'll just step aside and prepare to catch a crossbow bolt to the face. Wham, we've been spotted. We block the flying copper, copper bolt with our shield. We take a step towards him. We raise our sword. Normal strike, normal strike, impossible. Can't land. We're going to go for an upper body tricky strike that is fairly solid. And we're going to slash. We slash at the master. The master counter strikes. And he misses us. We'll aim another attack. Easy strike, can't quite connect. Easy strike. Easy strike, can't quite connect. He's throwing a kick at us. His foot's up in the air, so we're going to chomp at his left foot. We're going to slash at it and either block it or hopefully cut it. We attack at him, but he flips backwards to the side. So far, his friend down here hasn't caught wind of what's going on. Difficult strike, easier strike, easier strike, fairly solid. He's trying to do another roundhouse kick at us. We're onto him. We slash at him. He loses hold of his goat leather shoe. His foot sails end over end, and he falls over in pain. So he's laying there, and uh, easy strike, fairly solid on his right lower leg. Chop his other leg. Um, slash it. We s slash him in the right lower leg with the bra black bronze short sword and the severed part sails off. So that leg's gone. Easy strike, easy strike. Still don't have an easy strike on his head. His left upper leg. Slash at that. We slash him in the left lower leg. An artery has been open and our sword gets jammed. We're going to gain position of the sword. And um, just hack at him some more. D. Slash at his arm. His arm flies off. Slash at his left lower leg again. We slash. And finally, he bleeds to death. And his friend hears his death scream. And starts running after us. So let's see, we've got cobalt crossbow. Um, more bolts again. Rope reed, fiber dress. Shark leather cloak. Leather gloves. Goat leather shoes. His body parts. Nope, nothing we want. So we charge, take off running through the field after this elf here. We meet and raise our sword at the Axeman. Easy strike on his upper arm, easy strike. Easier strike, fairly solid on his leg. Go for the leg. He's going, he's swinging at us high. We go low. We slash at him. But it is deflected by his chit and cheated trousers. It glances off. The blow wasn't solid enough. We have an upper body easy strike, fairly solid. Um, left leg. I'm gonna go for the leg again. I'm, you know, I'm used to... I was trained with Mech Warrior. Go for the legs if they're an easy shot. We slash at the legs. Blocked again by his trousers. And he attacks us, but we jump to the side. Um, what do we have here? We aim a shot again. Right upper leg, or right upper arm. Normal strike. We're not gonna go for the leg. He's obviously armored. Um, easy strike on his left upper arm. Can't quite connect completely solidly, but maybe a graze. We slash him in the left upper arm. Our sword is lodged in the wound and he jumps to the side. We're gonna wrestle for control of our sword. We wrestle for it and he misses us as he swings. He turns to the side and we grip the handle and pull the sword out of his arm. Um, let's slash at him again. Easy strike on the lower body. We're gonna thrust at him. Try to pierce some internal organs. We stab him in the lower body, bruising the muscle and bruising the guts through his flax cloak. It was a quite a solid hit, but it didn't it wasn't a edge on enough to pierce through. It wasn't point on, I guess. The axeman, what else can we do here? Tricky, 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 normal, normal, difficult. We could aim at his crotch, but it's difficult. Probably take him down if we chopped it off. Chop it off and then beat him to death with it or something. 
bite it off and shake it off. Left upper arm, easy strike. Go for it. Or right lower arm. The black short sword's been lodged in the wound. An artery has been torn. He drops his shield, finally. We're gonna gain possession of our sword here. He swings at us again with an open fist and misses us. Um, go for the head, maybe that's difficult. Easy strike, left upper leg. He's left us an opening again. We attack, but he, she jumps away. Uh, how about right upper arm? We slash again, and they lose, lose hold of the flax glove as the arm flies off. The right upper arm sells off at the elbow. He hacks at us again, deflected by the trousers. We slash him in the head. A tendon's been torn in the skull. We slash him with the left eyelid, just nicking the eyelid. We go to, we go to battle, flailing all over the place until we finally chop him down. So let's see, we got a copper glaive there. Not a very good sword. We have an iron sword. Ooh, a well leather robe. We're gonna well wear that well leather. Should be pretty thick. Maybe keep us warm. Well leather, exquisite shoes. Um, let's take these leather shoes. Well leather, exquisite shoes. And we'll have to remove the silk shoes that we've got on. Where are they at? Actually, wait, we've got treated chitin shoes, so we'll keep those shoes. Maybe sell these leather shoes then. Copper shield. My shield is a red steel shield. Wow, we started off with a good shield and weapon. Um, what would we like to pick up here? Silver coin, finally some money. Pick that up. And a gold coin, we'll pick that up. Ooh, a copper cap. Let's wear that. We'll put that on. Silt, flax fiber gloves, nah. Ooh, a flax fiber cloak. We'll put that on, I guess. Not sure how many cloaks I can wear. Probably, probably multiple ones, I'm sure. Oh, another bandit down. This one actually had one buddy. But his buddy wasn't paying attention whenever we snuck up onto the scene. Chopped both of them down. Let's head back to... Um, let's go to this hamlet here. And then maybe we'll check out this fortress. We're bound to find some friends to recruit eventually. Here's the road. Follow it in. Hello, elf. My elven friends, weaver, thresher... Craftsman, fish cleaner, elf, milker, stone crafter, animal dissector. We'll tell our story to the fish dissector. I'm a Phil Kelcherry. How can I be of service? You've met a fine hero today. Do you know that, a Phil? I've slain another bandit for your empire. This is fantastic. May Overvire grip mind rot forever in the underworld. Um, you mind if we sleep here for the day? Of course, of course. We'll even bring you some food. Just rest here. So let's crawl into a corner and sleep until dawn. Mostly because, like I say, I'm going to say it again too if I get caught out again. I don't want to spend the night alone with the boogeyman. <sighs> Nightmare stuff. So let's see, regain consciousness laying on the ground. I'm going to save it real quick. And take a short break, and whenever I come back, we'll um, head to the northeast to that fortress. Uh, not accepting any more quests from the, the elves just yet. Okay, well, it's dawn. Uh, looks like we're the first one up. Everyone else is still sleeping. Um, we're not going to stick around, like I said, to um, take any quests from them. We're just going to head over to this... <coughs> excuse me, to this fortress over here. And hopefully, people are training inside, and we can recruit someone. Otherwise, oh gosh, look at this, a whole army of macaws, more animals. Yep, macaws. But hopefully we can recruit some people. Man, look at them all scatter. Recruit some people and go find a real mission. Oh gosh, a whole wall of macaws. They block the entrance to this temple. You know what, let's just hack through them. We attack and they all miss. Surely they can't can't kill us. They stand up. We'll hack at this one. We just run through the wall of macaws, swinging and chomping at the legs. The macaw attacks us, but we jump away. We slice it in the lower body, hacking it in half. Hacking that one's leg off. That one's upper arm. We've 
cleared a path to the door, but we're not going to stop here. Chop down all of them. There's a whole pile of macaws at the entrance. And what, more groundhogs here? Groundhogs and billy goats? Yep. And a whole flock of ravens or something? A flock of pigeons. So another abandoned fortress, another abandoned keep. No one lives here. It's just waiting for new owners to step up and take over. Man, this is going to be difficult then, going on this journey. Um, but we have to do it. I want to get out of this kingdom. It's obviously dying. We hack the groundhog in half. As it tries to pick its way through the doorway. Okay, so let's go. Where are we? We are here. If I remember correctly, the dwarven kingdoms are over here this way. Um, let's head that way. We had werewolves and stuff down here. I think I'm thinking of the right right region. Um, the sun is about at noon in the sky, I think. And I'm scared. We pick and prod our way through this temperate jungle, it looks like. Oh, and look, there's, there's a town. Right as the sun is sinking low in the western western part of the sky. We're going to enter this hamlet, find out who lives here, maybe spend the night here. In fact, absolutely spend the night here. And yay, we discovered a river. What is this? A bunch of orcs. Orc Miller, Orc Trapper, an Orc Furnace Operator, another Orc, Orc Planter. Are there any Orc Warriors here? Any brave Orcs? Greetings, Orc. You mind if I sleep in your house for a day? Zilzu Splashed Graphs says, Certainly, go ahead and crash on our floor. And we'll take a job from the orcs while we're here. Is there anything I can do to help your kingdom out? A creature of the night has our people cowering in fear. Shaded Deaths is a short walk to the northeast. Seek this place and kill Saigon, ancient traded, the horror bridegroom of twilight. A nice little title he's got. Let's let's crawl inside this little hut and sleep until dawn though. Looks like we've even got a wound on ourselves. Our lower body bears a massive straight scar from where the macaw I guess latched onto our belly button and shook it around. So we'll sleep until dawn. I'll spend the night in this lovely orkish town, eating all the food they make. We're not going to partake of any orcish women, though. 